Hi there, and welcome to Morgan Brayton and other people. Today on the show, we are talking about hair. The hair on your head, the hair on your legs, the hair at your bikini line, and yes, even that inexplicable weird hair that grows around your nipples. Why? <laughs> what is that? Uh, I, myself, come from a long line of, uh, well, hobbits. <laughs> we are small, we are hairy, and we will make it through the cold winter. And come summer, we will keep the depilatory industry in business. Uh, I spend an inordinate amount of time thinking about my own hair. Um, my hair complicates my feminism. I spend way too much money on my hair for this to be the end result. Uh, and I, I question, what is it with women and our hair? So let's find out today on Morgan Brayton and other people. Hey, ladies. Hi. Speaking yes. of hair, look at how pretty all your hair is. Oh, stop. I, think I like it. Katie Allen wins. Katie Allen wins, really Katie Allen wins yeah. today. Yeah. Oh, Not like that it's a contest, Allen, but no. if it were, you would Winner. get a sack. First prize. Absolutely. Quite lovely. Uh, hey, it wasn't always that way, was it, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just She's jump right to it. Really. Let's jump right to it. We don't, see Katie Ellen was like, I just always want you to know me as this. She didn't provide any other pictures. But I just woke up like, it's <laughs> the flower and everything. It wasn't there last night, it grew in the night. Uh, I do want to share Miss Erica Sigurdsson, oh. one of her previous hairdos. Which am I doing That's it over here? Did oh. you? <laughs> Pretty great. That's it's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's very sexy. This is, you know, the thing volume. with I it's. Know. I know that there was a, a lot of hair. Uh, that was a spiral perm. Oh. That now, to be fair, that was year two. By my grad <laughs> picture, it settled into a very beautiful <laughs> curl. But there was four years of tragedy before that. See, now this is the difference between your hair and mine. You're like year two of a perm. My hair kicked a perm out yeah. in like uh, four days. I did get it done at a hairdressing school though because my mom would <laughs> not pay full price. So it took 12 hours and I think they, <laughs> like I think they actually burned my hair into a curl. Oh, no. <laughs> because it, you, you didn't have to brush time. it or anything. I got it done in grade eight. My hair was still curly in grade 12. <laughs> And now it's bone straight, so. Oh. So it, was, it, it just yeah. had to wait for all of that hair to fall out of your head right. yes. and yeah. grow yeah. new yeah. hair in, and yeah. that's that's that is for incredible you. value. I yeah. felt really <laughs> cool though, like it was like yeah. for the first time I had this like big. It was the '80s. It was like rocker yeah. hair. We all yeah. had big hair. We all Back hair. It felt really tough. I will. Uh, <laughs> it looked really tough. I will, like jazz bow <laughs> shirt. <laughs> I will see your '80s hair, and I will raise you. My Ooh. 80s hair, oh, good. right? That's pretty though. It was really I, big. I beat that girl we up. used to get. <laughs> you're totally, you were totally the girl that beat me up. We would get these cans of hairspray from Boots Drugstore uh, near our school. Kitty Ellen and I went to the same school, different, many, many <laughs> decades apart. But that's not the point. Uh, and we we called it oven cleaner because it was it looked like a big tube of oven cleaner. And there was just this permanent cloud around <laughs> me and my friend's lockers because it would, between every single class, we would respray it. It wasn't going anywhere. I don't know why. We were like, I have got to go spray my hair. <laughs> Did you ever spray it on the bathroom? I didn't do this personally, but some of the, like, Real, the ones that smoked, they would spray it on the bathroom counter and light it on fire and run out of the bathroom. Oh, no. And the whole bathroom counter would light up and not, ah, yeah. it was very exciting. You Ooh. were one of those kind Whoa. of girls. I was not. Fire. I was I not didn't done anything in, like uh, that. Victoria. Well, okay. Fancy schmancy Victoria. <laughs> okay, so your hair disaster, hairdresser hair disaster story. I feel like every picture of my hair from being a teenager is a hair disaster story. Did anybody else have uh, hair disaster story? Did you have you? I did. I went in and I went to this lovely woman. At, like It was this one older lady in her basement. Right. I don't know how I found her. She lived across the street. <laughs> <laughs> and I took a magazine photo and this woman in the photo, she had like the most amazing like wavy, full, thick, incredible haircut. It was short, but it was like like on a side thing and I was like this is what I want she was like of course I can do that for you no problem and like it finished and I was in, I was started crying immediately and I was like 15 Aww. and it was like stuck to my head and I was like this, this is not what she goes oh yeah your hair could never do that I was she like you could have yeah like <laughs> you could have told me that an hour ago so then my dad had to take me to his hairdresser which by oh. the way let's be clear she doesn't know what she's doing either and she gave me a perm to fix it so that it wasn't so flat on my head <laughs> Yeah, I did look for photos of that, but I, I must have burnt them. <laughs> it was awful. Oh, no. So I just had like a round thing of curls 
and like it like came to here. It just framed just my like face a little beautifully. Brillo. Just a lovely did, 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 did anyone ever Brillo do? Pack. They had like the stands in the mall, and they advertise them on TV where you could like try your face with different hairstyles. Oh, like oh. The, on the computer. Yeah. Okay. I was obsessed with doing. I wanted to do that more than anything, and my mother would just like, well. No, because those are just pictures. <laughs> and that, there's no way that your hair would do anything. Oh, <laughs> then, uh, that's a great way to know if it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fatima's mom, on the other hand, was oh, very boy. helpful. I know you can't quite see it, so I need you to explain, because when you say it, you can see it. So uh, adorable, first my, of all. Right. My mother's hairstyle of choice uh, growing up was cornrows. She'd always cornrowed my hair. I know it sounds really cool, but I hated it, guys. <laughs> and so did my tight scalp. Uh, <laughs> 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 for that one particular picture, and almost every school picture, if I found the rest of them, my mom would tease my bangs almost as if it was just like this giant cowlick that was just sticking out of my head and would just like flop <laughs> around. See, but now that you say it, you can see it. It's just yeah, like a darker, yeah. there's like a big, there's like a, like, like a, a wind suck. Like a like wind, wind <laughs> blowing. Yeah. Tima, come over here. <laughs> oh, and she didn't like it. She didn't like oh, it. Oh, that's You can see it in that one. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty. That's amazing. <laughs> I think, that, but this is like, I'm amazed that you had the wherewithal at that age to say, this does not look like this. Cause I would have been like, it looks great, thank you. And like extra tipped her and gone home and cried. Yeah. But I love that you I, had the jam. Cause it was shocking. Like it was not, like you couldn't, I couldn't not say anything. Right. I would have been embarrassed if I had, and I was already crying. So she like, there was no oh. way. To, yeah, it was very upsetting. But it was very upsetting. That's the thing. I feel bad saying that I don't like, like they're like, what do you think? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. I mean, and then they show me the back and I'm like, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Right, but I don't say anything because I feel like they're artists, and I'm hurting you more past if I don't like it because yeah. I don't want them to know. Yeah, yeah. you want it to be. Secret. I used like, to be like that, money. and then now I it's it costs too much money to get our hair done. True. Right, like even yeah. a cut, and I don't like I get a trim probably every six to eight weeks. I don't. I'm not a big. Oh, I don't hair. trust people like, to yeah. cut my hair anymore. The oh. Last time I got someone to cut my hair, I I wore my hair in natural fro, and I went to the lady, and she didn't know what she was doing, and then by the time I left. I had like indents. It's got, like I had polka dot hair basically. <laughs> My hair was like sticking out and then oh, went in like, and then it oh. stuck out again and then it went in. And I was like, this is horrible. So what do you do now? Who does your hair? Uh, me. I don't <laughs> oh. let anybody touch my hair except for me. Really? Yeah. I have a friend who hasn't had her hair cut by anybody else except for herself in 10 years. See? Wow. Yeah, she's got short curly hair. She just trims it up all. She has not been to a hairdresser in years. But can you guys like imagine like cutting your own bangs? Oh. Well, oh. Oh. somebody had Nobody a bit of a that. midlife crisis in the bathroom this morning and cut her own bangs. I did. I was, was totally, super cute. I was like, you did such a good job. You. Thank you. I was about to leave and I was just like, I can't deal with this. Because for me, I everything's about my hair. Like, I could have the cutest outfit on, the best makeup, the sweetest shoes, and if my hair doesn't look good, I'm like, I'm hideous. <laughs> no one will ever love me. I should go live in a cave somewhere. Your wife's like, shut up. <laughs> She's like, we, you're right, yeah, get going, your hair looks fine. Uh, I actually texted her a picture, I was like, I think I made a bad decision, and I sent a picture, yeah. and she's like, you cut your own hair? And I was like, just my bangs. I'm like, this is the part where you say something supportive. Yeah. And she goes, it looks pretty good. And I was like, oh, my hair looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, the, that's my wife's like big compliment. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, it was a completely spur of the moment decision. And I was like, it's I mean, so it's so risky though. Care. It is risky. If it was yeah. too short, like you can't do it. Like you're just yeah. that woman. Yeah. The short well, but that's the thing is I've been pinning it back because I've been like growing it and I didn't like it and this and that. And so I was just like, if everything goes wrong, I'll just keep pinning it back. See, and my bit, like you were saying that you could never like trimming your bangs or cutting your bangs would be, the, and that's probably the only thing I do cut. Like, and I haven't for a long time, but I used to always trim my bangs. And I always, they always ended up like this yeah. and right. crooked. And then I was like trying to be cool and made it seem like that's how they were supposed to be. And that's what my hairdresser did. Is that the only thing you trim? I mean. Oh, that's what I thought. But we'll I get mean. into that <laughs> when we come back from this break. <laughs> Welcome back to Morgan Brayton and other people. We're talking about hair today on the show. We're starting at the top and slowly working our way down. Uh, not actually that slowly, quite rapidly, as a matter of fact. Robin. Oh, God. 
we got to start this one with you. So I know we were just talking about, no, it wasn't even you, it was Katie Allen. Oh we were just <laughs> we were just having a waxing conversation. And you are a regular uh, waxer E. Yeah, I have. I hadn't been in a while. Yeah, I'd really been pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, was that pushing it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, pretty great. Yeah, yeah. Experimenting with some different styles. <laughs> have you though? We have to. Okay, because uh, she does one this. time <laughs> <laughs> she actually has a flower pinned down there as well. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where she pins it. <laughs> I like um, it to welcome the boys home. <laughs> I went one time and they were like, do you, do you want something special? And I'm like, I don't know something what that special. means. And there was like, you can do the Tiffany's box, which is like, it's like, it's like a little square <laughs> shape. A and they, and they dye, dye your oh pubic hair blue, like what? the little t blue what? Tiffany's box. No. There was, a, yeah, you could get a dollar Tiffany's. sign. <laughs> oh, no, not breakfast, but breakfast. I mean, I would do that. <laughs> Tiffany's. Everybody just glazed over. I know, it. totally. If that was it. Took it took a while to sink in. Yeah. Uh, you get a dollar sign in your pubic hair. I'm just like, there's not. Ooh. I don't. Uh, I don't think that would like be a, necessary. Kind of like a true well, baller would do. So, have you ever done anything fancy like that? No, and no. I've never done any kind of symbol. No, no, no initials. No ampersands or anything. <laughs> no arrows. <laughs> <laughs> My Twitter handle. <laughs> Follow back. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I started following her on Twitter. Yeah. No, uh, just with the uh, amount is mostly what I play with. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was encouraging me to go farther, as it were. And I was like, Mwah. it's not. My bathing suit not my comes down to mid thigh. It's not. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to get carried away. No, but she was super fast. Like and, and, uh, and, and I didn't feel judged. I don't. I don't care anymore. Like I'm at that age where I'm just like, you know, this is. I'm not. I don't feel self conscious and that kind of a thing. Because my wife was like, don't, "How do you feel weird? Like lying there naked?" And I'm like, "Couldn't care less." It was like going to the doctor, right? Just like yeah. that fast, and you're. And she, you know, she's like moving things around. And, uh... Everyone has a different. Every waxer I've been to has a different position they want you to be in. Like some have different. Sometimes they like you on all fours. What's your favorite pose, Katie Ellen? I like to stay flat on my back. It's uh, that's a, that's an across the board in any scenario. Move that Katie Ellen is known for. I used to go to one waxer, and she did it out of her home. She had just a gigantic wall-sized photo of uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, no. That would be framed by my legs. Oh. <laughs> Really? Mm. You were like looking through you. your knees yep. at uh, our Lord and Savior. Mm. Yes. Was and did that help? <laughs> Same question. <laughs> um, you know, it's really time for reflection. <laughs> it's really when you want to be thinking about what you could yeah. be doing. What would Jesus do right now? Right. <laughs> he would do the Tiffany's box. Do the exact, yeah, exactly. absolutely. He would get the dollar sign. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anybody else? Uh, regular waxers? We're wax virgins. We're, yeah. We've never gone, never gone really? for a wax. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know which of these waxers I want to go to, though. Yeah. I've, well, I think I'm we intrigued should try by this all fours. <laughs> uh, it depends who you get. I'm cons I've never had uh, anyone put me on all fours in a waxing I scenario. Um, I'm concerned that you went to a waxer who waxed out of her home. I don't think that, that I don't think she had a license. I don't think that She that... hated doing it too. <laughs> yeah, you don't want an angry one. I can't imagine she you would want only them to do be it angry. by referral because oh. she was trying to get out of aesthetics and move exclusively into Reiki. Oh, okay, well, no. you've made a few you mistakes. Made, you, yeah, those yeah. are poor life choices That's, on your part. Can you can see how that could happen, though, yeah. <laughs> that you could start here and end up, it wait a break. minute. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. I once went in the mall, and it was an appointment I had made very hastily because I believed I needed to get my business in order. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> <laughs> and it was back in Victoria, and I, as I was going, I had this fear. I was like, oh, 
it will definitely be someone I went to high school with. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> but it was, it was oh, good. Oh, because that's what you would think at the mall, yes. down there by the arcade. Uh, isn't that the worst, though, when you're like, oh, I better, and then yes. you don't need it? And then yeah. you're like, well, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Yeah. You got to go out and, uh, <laughs> and then you just go to sleep with anybody just exactly. so you feel better about it. Well, it's yourself. expensive. <laughs> well, you can't it. have it go to waste. No. I mean, I shave and I'd still do it just because it's exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> I hate shaving. I hate shaving so much. I feel like so much of my life is wasted shaving that I feel like it's a conspiracy. I feel like I'm like, this is what. Someone's out to get it's, it. No, but it, it, yeah, it just feels I'm like. I'm not writing my I, screenplay. I, that's exactly what I feel like. I feel like if I hadn't been held back by all this time spent shaving, I could have been prime minister. Um, maybe not maybe prime not minister. Prime minister. Maybe the governor general. I could have finished university instead of dropping out to do my shaving I like I did. I could have watched all of the Gilmore Girls, not right. just the first three seasons. Oh, you should. Uh, but do you feel like, because that you mentioned about, you know, when you're getting ready for a, a special date. Um, that you made up in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But do you feel like there is so much shame around... Uh, women and body hair, right? That you have to, right? Like you don't feel like you can just be like, listen, you're gonna do this anyhow, let's face it. You want in here. Uh, you just gotta make your way through. <laughs> but I, cause I feel like I, you know, I don't, I know I'm not alone in feeling like there's so much shame around women and body hair. I feel like the last time, cause I've been with Jay for 15 years. So the, like, the kind of late 90s, it wasn't such a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I missed the bikini wax phenomenon. Right. Which is why I've just never gone. <laughs> like, it wasn't a big deal. And yeah, I I wasn't like, I've got to get ready. I was like, well, if he wants, he'll just, it's like showing up for a dinner party. You eat what you're served. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, your fiance is a, like, wilderness survivalist. That is true. So he knows how to do with you. <laughs> yeah. All right, we have to take another break, but we'll be right back with more hair and more Morgan Brayton and other people. Welcome back to Morgan Brayton and other people. We're talking about hair on the show today, and I want to talk about uh, the little the secret that women don't talk about much, as if that wasn't it previously. <laughs> uh, but those the the unexpected hairs. The, when you wake up and you, there wasn't one when you went to bed, but now there's like you're, there's like a billy goat hair this <laughs> long coming out of your chin at seven in the morning. I had a horrifying story. Like when I was 15, <laughs> and I'm not a hairy person. Somebody was like, oh, you've got a And it was <gasps> one, 15 years old. I, one blonde hair that was like, and oh, I was no. like, dear God. And I was like, I think that got stuck there with hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> and like all my life, it'll be, the, it won't be there. And then one morning, it's like overnight, it just goes bink. And so I'm like, Jay, you have to just, just make sure if you ever see it. Yeah, and he's like, it. if I ever see it, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, my mom, every morning, like on the side of her bed with a lamp up under her, uh, plucking her chin hairs, like yes. every single morning for life, I think. And I haven't had that phenomenon yet. <laughs> Does it, 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 cause it's a family thing, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I guess to tell I you. know. I'm sure it will. Although come sometimes eventually. when I be from that, like I, I my, my dad's side of the family, I'm I'm built like my dad. <laughs> I am, uh, yeah. No, the hair, the everything, the yeah. like Tyrannosaurus Rex arms, the Barney Rebel feet. <laughs> this is just straight from my dad's side of the family. My mom is like tall and thin. I'm like, mm. uh, but so it depends. Yeah. But I got my mom's uh, skin and uh, hairless skin as well, Completely which hairless. is nice. Yeah, but I got my dad's giant feet. So oh, all balances yeah. out. Fair, I've never fair. shaved my legs in my life. What? If that counts for yeah. anything, <laughs> no wonder you're yeah. prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm succeeding in life, guys. Do people at Asked to touch your hair oh, all the time. All of the oh. time. Oh. My entire life was spent like that. that like really? That. Oh yeah, back but when I used to wear my hair naturally, right. people would just be like, "Oh, can I touch your?" And it'll already be there. Oh, their hand would they already be they would, on my hair. They'd be asking, but they'd exactly. already be doing. People do that with my boobs all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly. Because they're so hairy. <laughs> 
yeah. which is another place yeah. that weird hairs show up. If yeah. I can bring it back to that, boobs, right? Yeah. Yep. What? I've, I've never heard had of weird boob hairs. No. Okay. See, and I, there's lots of things that I understand, sort of, bio, like the biological imperative of yeah. like you got to keep certain areas warm or whatever. <laughs> I don't think that's what's going well, you on. You don't want stuff to get in your eyes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know why my big toes need to be so warm. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know why those like eight hairs show up. Like, how, what is the biological imperative? Science nerd, come on. To deter people from having sex with you? <laughs> well well played, and Fatima. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been watching Michelle <laughs> Morgan's bedroom? <laughs> Speaking of uh, somebody who's not having sex with me, no. Uh, <laughs> it's terrible. Thank God she doesn't ever watch the show. <laughs> Um, my my wife uh, ta has talked our son into plucking those hairs out of her. She'd be like, "Go get them! Oh, <laughs> you no. are the worst! Go get them! We are the worst! We are the worst. Oh, no. the worst!" But it comes from her grandma used to pay the grandkids uh, quarter a leg to shave her legs. <laughs> And grandpa used to pay them a quarter to comb his hair. And they would all, and there was like, you know, f like 40 so you grandkids. Were like desperately trying to get hair combing duty. <laughs> <laughs> big loot, big loot, the hair combing. But there was like 40 grandkids or whatever. So this was like a real, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to shave grandma's yeah. head to make the money. And our kid will, our son will do anything for like quarters, just really. But, uh, sh but she will, and, and then we'll be driving in the car and she'll be searching for something. I'll go, what do you, what you're, Pay attention to the road. What are you looking for? And she's like, tweezers. I'm like, you can't. First of all, why would there be tweezers in the car? <laughs> yeah. Second of all, you can't do that while driving. But in her defense, the light is really great. It, yeah. With that little mirror with oh. the light on it, I'm always, yeah. I'm like, I take care of everything in the house. I go, come to go to the studio. I look down and I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> so maybe That's she's true. not so wrong after yeah. all. Yeah. Um, I think it's another one of those things where hair equals masculinity equals not really a good woman if you have, yeah. you know, hair on your face and, you know, those kinds of, those kinds of things. There's lots of things that I feel like I didn't used to shave my armpits and I tried briefly to be like, I'm not, fight the power, I'm not shaving my legs. And I was like, hmm, yeah, <laughs> yes I am. Um, but the, yeah, no, the, there are certain things that I just can't, I'm like, yes, I will buy into that beauty myth, mm -hmm. hook, line, and sinker. Cause I don't, I feel like less of a woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With and hairy it's... armpits? Because you are less of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but so but do you think fights. that, but do you think that dudes, like, I know, I'm not saying guys don't care about their hair or whatever, but like, do you think that dudes spend as much time as women obsessing about hair? I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Not, yeah. not as yeah. quite as much, but yeah, like a bad haircut or the wrong haircut or, yeah, I think, and the, losing their hair. I think they're pretty oh, like that. And there's a lot of stigma on can you or can you not grow facial hair? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then even if you, and if you do have a beard, if you keep it short, that is upkeep every day. Every day. Yeah. Which I is what I, I clean my sink every day. Oh, <laughs> so much hair. I love that now, though, because I, I keep having this thing now where I keep going, Oh, what an attractive young gay man. And then he's like holding hands to the lady. And I go, this is the new thing now because mm -hmm. the guys are all so quaffed mm -hmm. that they all look like fags, which I love. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that like women are like just looking for like the gayest, gayest, <laughs> gayest guy, guy yeah. and fighting over him. And they're all going to like these, you know, upscale sort of barber shops right. and that kind of a thing. Because last year they were all like, I'm not ever gonna wash my beard yeah. that yeah. is like down to yeah. here. Yeah. And I'm gross and I've been wearing this toque for the last six months and I haven't taken it off. They said that, I'm gross. <laughs> yeah. I'm here, I'm gross, get used to it. But now the <laughs> things, the pendulum has swung and they're all tidying up. Yeah. And I yeah. quite like it. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't nice spread to the ladies because I don't have it in me. I had a, a, a male roommate for a while in my 20s and I was like, how do men get pubic hair Everywhere. everywhere. Cause it's I don't, I don't find pubic hair it's, everywhere. Yeah. You don't? I think no, we, all, no. we think it's all Well, then what was that guy doing? Because it was on the mirror. It was like, I was like, how? No, what are you mirror. doing up there? <laughs> like, 
like <laughs> we think it's facial hair, but it's actually just their hair hair. Because I, I always yeah. thought that too. Oh, you but now, just yeah, like just with my brothers and stuff. But the, all of their hair is short, generally, and little and dark. And yeah. I mean, how do you know? Do you ask them? I'm brothers. Is this your pubic no, hair, brother? But I used to always <laughs> think that, and then I like, yeah, I kind of was like, dude, like, like this is disgusting. When my one brother lived for me with me for about six months, yeah. and I got a little irritated by all the hairs in my bathroom, and I was like, dude, like seriously, what are you doing in there that your pubes yeah. are everywhere? Yeah. He's like, I like nothing. Like that's my actual hair, and you know how we lose a lot of hair. So the curtains so match the drapes. Apparently, <laughs> thanks for that, Erica. Now that's what I will always think every time I see her brother. Oh, oh well. Wow. <laughs> Because we know you're not coloring your hair. Uh, if I let it go for too long, and then, you know, if we're like going somewhere and I'm like, okay, I don't have time for wax, I'm just gonna get the shaving job done. And then I get, I so I take a bath, and I get out of the bath, and I drain the tub, and I go do whatever. I come back in, and I'm like, oh dear. <laughs> and it's just like, a, it's like somebody painted the bathtub. And then I clean up to clean, it takes me like another half an hour to clean oh, up the no, bathtub. Yeah. It's frightening. It's true. Um, so maybe I was talking about shame around it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've covered that. Uh, and I think that's a great place to leave it. On my shame. <laughs> like every episode. Oh, oh God. Uh, thanks. Thanks for loving me, even though I'm gross. <laughs> I'm here. I'm gross. Get used to it. <laughs> I'm having t-shirts made for all of us. All right. Uh, thank you for being here uh, today, ladies. And thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next time on Morgan Brayton and Other People. Um, I'm never bathing <laughs> I'm never going anywhere. Why would you? Why would you anyhow? Maybe we get drunk. Uh, it's a great bathtub. It's like a big, deep bathtub. But the, the whole point of the story. <laughs>